We try to get a response from force management at their building here in downtown Wichita Falls. But no one answered. But as artificial trees kept looking more and more like the real thing, the popularity of a true tree declined. But as trends tend to do, that's changed recently. January is one of the busiest times of year here at Falls Fitness, but the owner says the reason why so many people stop showing up is because they go too hard, too fast. When the world power's in the ring, we're going to take the dirty blunts and we're going to make them really clean. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I think it's needless to say we know who thinks they're going to come out on top. But if you're not sure, 630 down here in downtown Wichita Falls. Tickets are just $5 for Pro Wrestling Under the Stars. Daryl Melanie, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> no stick around. I want to see who wins. Get body slammed. Yeah. Well, His face I, right I now. wouldn't recommend the body slam, but <laughs> let me know who wins. I can't oh wait to find God. out. You mentioned Shepherd Air Force Base. Many consider it to be the backbone here at Wichita Falls. Um, do you believe increased funding will improve military readiness for our country? And speaking of the president, he tweeted recently that he plans to come to the Lone Star State to campaign for you. Now, after a personal, hard-fought presidential election, how would you describe your relationship with the president now? Well, thousands of people made their way through the J.S. Bridwell Ag Center today for an annual tasty tradition. Landon McBride was lucky enough to stop by there, and he joins us now with more. Who's to blame? Bill Davidson. Mary Albertson, the now former host home coordinator for the Wichita Falls Force hockey team, says Force owner Bill Davidson has failed to own up to his costly and poor leadership. Albertson says she was cautiously optimistic when the announcement was made that hockey was coming back to Wichita Falls, but she says she wanted to help. Albertson volunteered and was then approached by former sales and marketing manager Kevin Lovig to help manage host home family payments. Not too long after, Albertson says she began to worry. I got a call about making sure that all the housing checks had cleared the bank. And my response was, are you telling me that some of these checks may be insufficient? She says she felt awkward, but contacted each of the six host home families to make sure the payments went through. At the airing of this story, those homes are owed a total of $2,100 from the force. Also owed money, the MPEC. The force owes the MPEC for the last three games played at the end of November, on top of what it spends on ice per day. $11,000 you're owed on top of $1,000 a day for ice. You know, that's a lot of money. MPEC General Manager Michael Tipton says he locked the team out a few days ago, not to stop the players from doing what they love, but to prevent losing more than the $11,000 they're owed. Money they'll probably never see. You don't regret what you did? No. I, as agents of the city, we're responsible for taxpayer money and I think it would have been irresponsible of me to continue to let the, the tab build up, if you will. We were able to reach Force Sales by phone, who provided contact info for Davidson. We tried to get a response from Force Management at their building here in downtown Wichita Falls. But no one answered. And while Albertson and Tipton remained frustrated, unlike the Force's owner, the MPEC is still doing business. Well, there's quite a variety here at Smith's Garden Town, from Fraser fir to Douglas fir to Black Hill spruce. Now, years ago, there were a lot more real trees here for sale, but as artificial trees kept looking more and more like the real thing, the popularity of a true tree declined. But as trends tend to do, that's changed recently. Poinsettias and decorations will fill the homes of those celebrating Christmas not too long from now, but at some point, the big decision has to be made, real or artificial. A Wichita Falls resident with a Christmas-like last name explains why he's always kept it real. The scent of the tree is something I always look forward to. And I guess it's just the fact that it's, it's real, it's a tradition. Carroll says when he was a boy, the decision wasn't difficult because the artificial options were not that many and what there were were not impressive. And as they came on, they just seemed plastic. But technology has come a long way in making the fake look and even smell real. And over the years, that's led to a decrease in real tree popularity, which one of Smith's Garden Town's managers says he understands. They don't really want to spend the money on something that they're going to have to throw away within a year. Another reason to go artificial, allergies. 
Plus, Fiore says, shopping for that perfect real tree each year takes a lot of time, which is in short supply in the holiday season. Some people spend more time picking out a tree than they do their husbands. I mean, <laughs> but for 2018, Fiore says real trees are back in style, which is always good for business. We used to sell in the neighborhood of five to six hundred trees. Um, this year we ordered 200. Uh, which is up from what we ordered last year. One of those trees is now brightening Carol's home. The decision may be tough, but once it's in place, real or artificial, many will be saying, Oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches.